Hi, I'm Eric, and today I'll be showing you how to maximize your day and control your to-dos using tasks in Evernote. Now that you've seen different ways to create tasks, view them, and manage them, I'll be showing you how to assign tasks to other team members. Assignable Tasks is available for Evernote Teams customers today. So let's take a look and I'll show you how it works. During the newsletter meeting, there are actionable tasks that need to get assigned to different team members. In this case, the owner of the note or meeting will want to assign tasks in order to delegate. This meeting agenda note has tasks after each agenda item. These tasks need to get assigned to the individual who is responsible. For example, building the wireframes for the June newsletter should get assigned to Catherine. If I click into the task, and hover over the person icon and click through, I can assign this task to Catherine. Once the task is assigned, Catherine will receive an email letting her know that she's been assigned this task in Evernote. Here's an example of what that email will look like. If Catherine opens up her tasks view, She'll also see it appear under her My Tasks tab and under Due Dates. And since Catherine is in this meeting and has access to this note, she'll also see it listed under the Notes tab. That's an important detail to call out here. In order for a task assignee to see the rest of the note that their task is contained in, the task delegator or manager should be sure to share the note where the task lives with the assignee. You can share a note with a team member two different ways. You can share a note using the green share button, and be sure to choose their level of permissions. If this is a note where they might want to do a little bit of collaboration in, I'd recommend giving them at least edit access. You can also give your team member access to the space in which the task is contained in. I recommend this option to all my team's customers because it makes sharing and collaborating much more efficient. In this scenario, if you give a team member access to a particular space, they'll easily be able to see any new or existing tasks that get added into any note within the space. When sharing a space, you'll still need to choose the permission levels for the team member. If you do not want a task assignee to see the rest of the note where a task is contained, you can also choose to not share the note with them. In this case, the user will still receive an email letting them know that a task has been assigned to them, and in the Tasks view, they'll still see the task available under My Tasks, Assigned, and Due Dates. This will help them manage the task even if they don't have access to the actual note. You can also assign a task to a team member who does not use Evernote. This can be beneficial in scenarios where you are using outside parties or contractors to get work done. The process works the same way. Simply find the task and click through to assign and type in the individual's email address. Once the task is assigned in Evernote, the assignee will receive an email that looks like this. When they click through into the task, the task will appear in a web environment. Once the task is completed, they simply need to click the purple circle icon and the task will be marked as complete. Assignable Tasks is such a great feature in Evernote and can be extremely helpful to someone who does a lot of project management or to a manager who wants to delegate work out to the rest of the team. I hope that you find assignable tasks as beneficial as I do.